sometimes we want to bring in content from another show file into our current show file. We call that merging. Let's look at how it works. Let's be in live if you're not there already. And we'll do a go to queue out enter to start our day with the blank slate here. Now we're going to look at how to merge in additional content into our show file without opening a brand new show file. So if we go to our file browser and open up our file menu, go down to merge here, I'm going to select my base show file here. Now when I first open this up, I see I have several target options that I can select here. What merging allows us to do is bring in additional targets into our current show file. So for example, I could merge in cues, groups, effects, snapshots, etc., from a file I had previously created, and those can be shared in the current show file. Any targets coming in that have the same numbers as my current show file will overwrite that content, but anything else coming in from that file will simply be added to my existing show file. If I don't want to bring in all of a certain target type, I can click Advanced here, and we can do a partial merge. So for example, I could click Groups, and on the right-hand side of my CIA, you see I have Start, End, and Target. So for example, I could just say I want to Group 6 through 23, and if I don't specify a target, those are going to come into my new show file as groups six through 23. I could bring them in as different numbers. So maybe I wanna add 200 to those, so I could start it at 206, for example. I'm gonna clear that out for now. Cues are called out specifically with the first two columns of list and list target. So if I wanted to bring in queue list three, but in my current show file, I wanted it to be QList 103. I would do it this way. If I wanted it to be QList 3 again, I would simply leave the target blank and it will assume the same number. And then if I wanted certain cues within that queue list, I could specify those over here. So for example, maybe I just want to queues one through five within list three. If I need to do multiple ranges of the same target, I can do that as well. So if I click groups again, I can now start another group selection. Maybe this time it's 91 through 95. I'm not going to do it right now, but if I were to hit OK, that would complete the merge and bring all of that data into my current show file. Clicking return will bring us back to our main target menu where we can select full groups of record targets. For today, we're just going to press cancel.